Introduction. In this YouTube video, we will explore the history of Southern Africa, focusing on the conquest and colonization of the region by European powers. We will specifically examine the defeat of King Lobengula, Mazilakazi, Shaka Zulu, and Zivingandaba, as well as the role of Cecil John Rhodes, the Unilateral Declaration of Independence, Ian Smith, Bishop Muzorewa, and the events leading up to Zimbabwean independence in 1980. Opening. Southern Africa has a rich and complex history, which has been shaped by a multitude of factors, including geography, economics, politics, and culture. One of the most significant events in this history was the conquest and colonization of the region by European powers, which began in the 15th century and lasted for several centuries. Conquistadors in Southern Africa While the Spanish conquistadors are most famous for their exploits in the Americas, European powers such as Portugal, the Netherlands, and Britain also sent explorers and conquerors to Africa. In Southern Africa, these European powers encountered several powerful African kingdoms, including the Dabeli under Mazilakazi, the Zulu under Shaka Zulu, and the Rozwi under Zivingandaba. Defeat of King Lobengula One of the most notable figures in Southern African history was King Lobengula of the Dabeli people, who ruled over a vast territory in what is now Zimbabwe. In the late 19th century, British colonial forces sought to expand their influence in the region and sought to negotiate a treaty with Lobengula. According to legend, the British offered Lobengula a bucket of sugar in exchange for the right to mine his territory for gold. Lobengula agreed to the deal, but the British soon reneged on their promises and began to seize Dabeli land. Lobengula attempted to resist the British, but his forces were defeated in a series of battles, and he was eventually forced to flee into the mountains, where he died in 1894. Role of Cecil John Rhodes One of the most influential figures in the colonization of Southern Africa was Cecil John Rhodes, a British businessman and politician who played a key role in the establishment of British colonial rule in what is now Zimbabwe and Zambia. Rhodes believed in the concept of British imperialism and worked to expand the British Empire's influence in Africa. He founded the British South Africa Company, which became the de facto government of Rhodesia, now Zimbabwe, in the late 19th century. Unilateral Declaration of Independence and Ian Smith In 1965, the white minority government of Rhodesia, led by Prime Minister Ian Smith, made a unilateral declaration of independence from Britain. This move was widely condemned by the international community and led to a period of international isolation for Rhodesia. Smith's government was characterized by repression and human rights abuses, and the country remained divided along racial lines. Bishop Muzorewa and Zimbabwean independence. In the late 1970s, a series of negotiations led to the Lancaster House Agreement, which paved the way for Zimbabwean independence in 1980. The first black prime minister of Zimbabwe, Bishop Abel Muzorewa, played a key role in these negotiations, which were mediated by the British government. Conclusion. The history of Southern Africa is a complex and often tragic one, marked by conflict, colonization, and oppression. By examining the conquest and colonization of the region, as well as the events leading up to Zimbabwean independence in 1980, we can gain a deeper understanding of the forces that have shaped the region and continue to impact it today.